Oh no, I got I'm going over to do some uh, intern photos for. Uh, we're doing some like official NASA headshots, and I'm also doing some testing of this. How do you like the hollow lens? Uh, pretty cool. So you got it set up and everything. Your yeah. And all that you log in. Yep, yep. Got it all set up. Like right now, what I'm doing, I've got a. Uh, it's a world anchoring type thing. I don't know if you worked with the hollow lens at all, but. I did. Um, we had a customer who needed assistance, mm -hmm. so I had to like create documentation, test. Okay, cool. I didn't get to like. Add apps or play with them. Okay, just okay, in and okay. Learn what the actions and the features. Okay, cool. Yeah, so what I'm doing right now, it's a, uh, it's a world anchoring feature, so it's got edge detection that's like mapping out the environment, right? Um, and it's basically counting all the fragments that it tracks, and each fragment is like a chunk of segments. This is what I've been waiting to see. <laughs> 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 just the right time. <laughs> well, he's talked all about it. Keeps oh, it fun. Yeah, I'm I'm testing the world anchoring right now. Um, so it's basically and cleaning is uh, anchoring. So basically, every certain distance that I go, it places like an anchor and references it into the cloud. And then I can close the app and like delete all anchors and then reopen it and pull them from the cloud. And it'll be like, oh hey, like here you are in the space. Here's the anchors in the cloud. Okay, they should be here. So is it using like a GPS? To um, it's actually part of it. In Kind of. It's not actually GPS. They're using, um, the main thing they're using is actually um, uh, the depth sensor. And so they use the Stay depth right sensor. Here, the <laughs> <laughs> they use the depth sensor to make the map of the environment at runtime. Um, it's basically LiDAR, and then they make a mesh of the LiDAR. Um, and they send that mesh to Azure Anchors. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they send that mesh to, up to Azure Anchors, and then Azure Anchors basically has a service oh, that's set to recognize it. So as long as you have yeah. the connection, then it'll... Mm -hmm. And as long as you got Wi-Fi, you can just reference Azure Anchors, and it goes, okay, here you are in the mesh that we know. And so it, it collects all the meshes you've ever done. And so then you get a big reference of meshes, and you could, in theory, if you had meshes of everything on site, you could just walk around. Yeah, and that's kind of the goal is you can map out, in our case, you can map out Building 48, and just walk around inside of it, and you have things that are referenced to certain points in the uh, geometry. Um, and it should just work. <laughs> it's fun. It's kind of cool. And what is your address, your email address? K-A-L-E-B. It's actually with the C. Pretty close. Uh, C, yeah, C A L E B, and then uh, dot C R A M is in Mary. So did he know anybody with the last name? C R A M. Yep, you got it. Damn, what a great Caleb Cram. Like Cram and Protest. Like, it's almost like you know <laughs> like when you're watching a name or something. Mm -hmm. the alternate name yeah. of the super yeah. villain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the super villain name. It's funny. Caleb Cram, and he's, you know, yes. This is, this is the alternate and the definite name. I'll map out all your things. Exactly, exactly. This is where I learned my skills to do my dastardly deeds. Somewhere along the line, you go Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Heck yeah, thank you. I'm sending that to you. Oh, very cool. Can that's you awesome. See that's cool. No, no, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's funny. I can actually see it pretty well. It's it's interesting. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Yeah. I love that you're so nerding out in front of me right now. Love it's it. fun. It's fun. Yeah. Hopefully, I can get this working and then have it running for tomorrow. It looks like it's working right now. I'm gonna do the gnarly test. Like everything's been on this floor so far. Did you say you're gonna do the gnarly test? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, yep. This next one, I'm going to take it down the elevator, outside, and across the area. The uh, I have a hot spot. Of course you do. <laughs> Normally it would. <laughs> All right. Have a good hey, you too. <laughs> Trying to find space. There's space. <laughs> Doesn't catch enough yet. All right. 
starting to catch up.
I'm actually testing something. That's so cool. Caleb, did you bring a tie? No, no, I don't have it. Dude, I don't have dress clothes down here. <laughs> I'm gonna wear my flight suit. <laughs> oh, you really? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I'm testing a uh, world anchoring with the Jure anchors on here. I've got a bunch of spatial anchors going all the way back to my office. Yep. I'm uh I'm actually I'm actually testing a thing for my project. I'm supposed to present tomorrow and you make sure it actually works. <laughs> yeah. actually works. Okay, wait, moment of truth. I need to close it. And I was like trying to adjust it more, but there's not enough. Whenever you stand up, it's supposed to hit the top. No way that worked. That's crazy. Okay. 